going into uh, Sunday evening about 5.18. Hope you had a good weekend. The forecast was pretty good. If anything, Saturday didn't have quite as much total rain in the gauge as I thought we would have. The airport was right around three-tenths of an inch. 47 on Sunday, that equaled my forecast high. And now we're seeing things starting to calm down. So any showers still left out there will be ending in the coming hours. You can see partly cloudy skies over uh, Tillamook Head. I love this camera shot from Gearhart by the Sea Resort. Other cameras, look at that. Fairly clear right now. We're Domain Serene. Um, beautiful shot out in the wine country near Dayton as the evening hours start to develop. And also fairly clear down in the valley over Silverton. Wow, how about that? All right. Our uh, forecast is surprisingly sunny and surprisingly dry. And with that said, here we go. So we have light winds on Monday. After early fog, we'll clear out, stay about 46 for a high. Gusty east winds take hold starting on Tuesday. And look at these freezing temperatures. Calm wind areas could easily be down into the 20s for a run of nights in a row. If we get down to 32 Tuesday morning, or at least we'll hit freezing Wednesday, that would become the first freezing temperature of the season so far out at, uh, out at the airport. And notice this is a bone dry forecast all the way through Sunday. So the only real question is, how strong do the east winds get out near the gorge? How widespread will those winds be at times? And, uh, and really, with an inversion taking hold, just how warm we're going to be getting. But uh, probably the bigger story that trumps it all, the dry weather and the days of sunshine with that east wind blowing. Don't forget, you can catch my uh, update for Mount Hood by going to my ski forecast page. Timberline Lodge did pick up about a foot over the weekend. Meadows didn't get as much, um, but the resorts were open. Good news there. I'll talk to you soon.